All right, so um, I need a new job. I need a new job. I really do need, need, need a new job because this job, I just got paid today and it was another small check. I need to figure out how exactly this pay period stuff work because it's annoying at a small check. The rent is due and I need to send this money technically today, but I'm just going to send it next week um, because the landlord will work with me. So. And I do not want, I refuse to, to use money borrowing apps. I don't like doing that. I don't like doing that at all. So yeah, I'm already paying eight dollars a month for that junk, which I need to cancel or whatever. And then I got my six flags and my phone bill. Everything just keep adding up, adding up. I was supposed to send that rent money today, my three fifty portion today. But I can't. I can't because I don't got it. I rely on these paychecks. I rely on these paychecks. This job. I already knew this job wasn't paying enough money, okay? But I purposely have, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> taken on extra shifts so I can make more money. I think my most recent paycheck, I did the math, my most recent paycheck is based off the few days I've worked in this week. But last week's paycheck was twice as higher, <coughs> twice higher, two times higher than what I made this paycheck. So I'm a little confused of how this pay period is working. I specifically take on extra shifts because I knew the possibility that that these um that these checks may be small. So I am confused. I'm getting paid on Wednesdays. Pay period starts on Sundays. I expect Pay period starts on Sundays. I'm being okay. Pay period starts on Sundays. I'm being paid on Tuesday. No, Wednesdays. The following rest of the week is being processed in the next check. Okay, I should be able to see it in there. Okay, well, right now, from this check I received, it seemed like I did not see um, last week's few other days not processed in this check. So I'm confused. I'm confused right now how this is working. The way how I expect to get paid is similar like my former job. My former job at the grocery store, which spoiled, I'm actually looking at the company right now. I'm sitting in that little spot at the store. And they haven't they haven't looked at my application. I don't know why they not. I told them I have seniority with this company. Anyway, so <clears throat> the way how my former job was paying me was literally weekly, okay. My paychecks were consistent, okay? My paychecks were consistent, okay? Consistent between the $25,000 to $30,000 a year, okay? It was consistent. In this job, it's keep fluctuating. It's keep fluctuating between $12,000 to I think $15,000. Maybe even $10,000 to... Maybe just $10,000 five. Oh my gosh, I need a new job. This ain't nothing. I'm literally getting more hours, but at the same time... This suck. This I'm working a little bit too hard, and apparently I'm working real good. I feel like I'm not working too good. I've been essentially I've been quiet quitting. If you really think about it, okay. I have not been giving it my all. Apparently I have because I signed some papers saying that I am going, um, that I am being a team player. I purposely, I purposely, um. Claim more shift, more more shifts, so I can have bigger chips for rent. I'm glad. I'm glad. I didn't tell my payee, or tell my um the landlord. I'm glad I didn't tell the landlord that he should expect the paycheck today. I'm glad. Well, last week, I told him. I, I'm glad I didn't tell him in advance. I should have it by this by this time. Okay. Because then I would have to commit something told me don't tell them yet, okay? And I obeyed that. And here I am. Here I am. I am now that version of that future version of Ray in the present now. And here I am. I have a small check and I am now fifty dollars behind. I could do Uber to I could do Uber, but like I said, I don't feel like doing Uber. It's getting colder. I'm not dealing with that, okay? So I'm just gonna have to pay the rent, pay my portion, pay my portion. Next week on my next week's check, and I indeed for sure for it ha should have it, okay? My paycheck was too small. That sucks. So, I'm going to have to get a new job. I don't know how long this is going to work. 
I have applied. I have applied for another job, but I'm gonna have to call these places to see what the deal is. Cause, and, and oh, and a coworker, who I think was trying to, um, <laughs> I don't know if she, I had that she was flirting, but she was trying to get a little bit, trying to know a little bit about me too much. She like, how old are you? Do you have siblings? What you do in your in your free time? I'm like, why, why is she asking me all these questions? Anyways, I won't get too much about dating stuff, but <coughs> I had to pause because we're playing really loud. Probably a Boeing. Them things are loud. And for the record, Elon Musk he bought Boeing. I wonder what he's gonna do. Electric planes. Oh my gosh. Getting back on track. Yeah, getting back on track. I'm over here working. This very physical job. I'm still a little sore. Yeah. I'm still a little sore. I'm still a little sore from, you know, from working yesterday. I worked, I think, 30 hours, I think. 30 or 25 hours. It's kind of weird. I'm confused of how in the world these paychecks are processed. I'm going to have to talk with HR and, and get some clarity on this, okay? Because of my former job, it was consistent. My paychecks were consistent. Because I, I was working 40 hours. They was making sure I get them 40 hours. That's one thing I really do appreciate about my former job. That store job, they took care of me, okay? They worked with me. This one, I don't know. They always yelling, clock out, clock out, clock out. All, <laughs> all people of the shift, clock out, clock out, clock out, clock out. They keep yelling and everything on the, uh, the, the intercom pager or whatever. Telling people to clock out and stuff like that. Yesterday, I showed up late to work. I was almost about to call off because it's if technically, I guess to this company, this warehouse, it's better to call off than show up late. Because apparently if you show up late like two times, no, like two times, <coughs> show up late two times, that could be an automatic termination. And I'm not trying to show up. I've really been cracking down on me showing up late. I am mean, coming here on time. Okay, but yesterday, unfortunately, I did not, I couldn't, um, I couldn't show up on time because of transportation. Transportation is a huge issue. And that's mainly the main reason why I'd be called off because of transportation. It apparently is better to call off than show up late. You can't call them saying you can't you you're gonna be late because it ain't gonna mean nothing. And besides, even if I do call, it's just gonna go to an automatic, you know, automatic, you know, robot thing or whatever. So yeah, anyways, going this job, I'm sorry, this warehouse job, it is very physical. I'm used to it. I like the whole Tetris thing, real life Tetris thing. But in the end of the day, this game of life, it, it, I can't be playing this 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 Tetris at my job if I'm not going to be rewarded anything, uh, rewarded anything at, at, at these other jobs. And these people sitting over in the control booth, controlling all these conveyors, yelling at managers and everything no. oh um low place uh low number blah 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 um um what's going on whatever and then because they don't want to hire people i'm working four or five like four like three four um trailers loading these boxes up in these trailers make no sense look i may like this whole like i said i may like this whole tetris thing at my current job real life tetris or whatever but at the same time i can't keep doing this okay I already hate the um, unload unload um, department. I hate that department. It's dangerous. I had to unload, oh my gosh, a truck full of super heavy boxes by myself. Mostly by myself, I did that. I did, because I came late that day, they, they sent me over to the unload side. Which, I mean, okay, I understand, but I hate the unload. I hate unloading. Most people prefer unloading, but I don't. I prefer to load. But yeah, I can't work this. And then the manager yesterday was telling me that, have you ever worked double shift? I'm like, no, I haven't, but I would, <laughs> excuse me, I would consider. But as of right now, no, I am not interested in working double shift. You know why? Because first of this job is way too physical and I get no break in everything. I get no break. I have to, I have to, you know, buy a few snacks or whatever, some chips or whatever to, you know, a bagel or whatever, um, just to keep me, you know, moving during the shift. Sometimes, because I'm too dang broke, I don't have nothing, just water. That's it. 
it's good I'm able to you know survive on one meal a day that's good I can on, with that but at the same time I'm going to work on hungry and everything and that sucks I cannot make a living with this job and then have other co-workers complaining to me that these lines are keep being they keep bombarding us with a whole bunch of work knowing we don't have all the people to work this I'm at the 10 minute mark I guess I can start concluding from there final conclusion I can't keep this job I'm going to keep it okay I'm not going to sit there and quit it okay I'm not going to sit there and quit it okay it'd be better if they just fired me okay which will suck I'm a, that's why I'm cracking down on me being here stop stop showing up late that's why I'm cracking down on that okay I don't want to show up late I don't me personally I don't like showing up late okay but this job I'm sorry it's too physical way too physical it's technically dangerous as well especially rolling them rollers in the middle of the trailer I can slip and slip and fall up in the belly of the truck which will suck and really hurt myself and and God knows this knee oh my gosh this injured knee whatever is wrong with this knee why are you standing right there whatever is wrong with this knee if I twist that knee wrong, wrong way if this knee twists one wrong way, I'm done. I'm falling. And God knows what else I hit. And then I am hurt. Because this knee is still... I'm still having knee problems. This knee right here. This knee. The lateral side. Oh, I feel that right there. It feels rough. Ow. Okay, I just hit a, heard a crack. It feels rough. It feels like something is constantly about to... Um, dislocate up in there. That's what it feels like. And during the pain, during the winter when it gets super cold, oh my gosh, I can really feel that. And it, oh my gosh, whatever's wrong with my lateral side of my 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 left knee, that sucks. I had to quit my Amazon. Well, the main reason I quit my Amazon warehouse back in 2020, technically, is because you know I had to move to Atlanta. But but that played a role. I knew I was obviously well not exactly didn't I didn't expect to be doing a super physical work hopping jumping in and out of these trucks like that I didn't expect that nah -uh. I expect the heavy boxes but not jumping in and out tr tr trucks climbing in and out of these trucks that's not level boarding I did not expect that and 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 you know the level boarding is not like this where you just step up you know it's like this I gotta pull myself up in these trailers. Now I gotta sometimes do four of them things. And oh my gosh, I can't stand it. 12 minutes. And I can't stand it whenever, oh my gosh, as soon as I get my rhythm going, okay? My hair is a mess. <coughs> as soon as I get my rhythm going, okay? About me, uh, I get my rhythm going, I'm caught up as soon as I'm finished. Either two things happen. The manager, look at my work, Ray Marco. Um, come and come and go to this this trailer number. Okay, I can't say no. I can't say no. So I go to that trailer. That one was backed up. Once I, I have a hard time. I have to. I have a hard time catching that up. And then once I go back to my original trailer, that's now backed up. The red light is going off. Now I'm back on square run. It sucks. And then sometimes if the manager doesn't tell me to switch to another trailer for a few minutes, um, as soon as I, as soon as I'm caught up with my original trailer, a hundred boxes, five, ten boxes start coming down at the same time, heavy for that matter, and pushing that pushing that manual conveyor roller or whatever and oh my gosh that just ruins my ruins my um my um my 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 my, my groove I, oh groove ew that's a cringe word it, ru <clears throat> it ruins my rhythm or whatever right away now I'm back to square one the rail light's going off I'm behind now managers have to come and tell managers have to come and tell other people to come help me which I don't like that I li look I have a problem being helped but at the same time but not if it's I'm consistent because then now this is a problem and apparently we're supposed to meet a standard here at this job so yeah finally 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 conclusion I need a new job I need a new job I'm over here working extra hours they talk about double but no man no no they talk about working double but no um 
They talk about working double, but no, with no break, and I cannot work 40 hours. No, no breaker than 32 hours, maybe 35. So I don't know what in the world. I cannot make a living with this job. I cannot. I was trying to plan. Originally, I was trying to plan to live out on my own, but my biological father insisted I live here, which is totally cool. No problem. I'm like I said, I'm way more mentally stable than living with my modern family. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I had I really had to leave that situation because they was really getting on my nerves up here. In well, I don't know about here, but really up here. Gaslighting me. I won't talk about about my modern family, but I'm doing way better here in my biological family's house, okay? But um Yeah. Finally, finally, finally conclusion. This job, I'm grateful. Thank you all. We're the first. We're the first. We who won't call you. To, uh, to make you some money. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. But at the same time, I can't make a living like this. I don't see myself in this one coworker, this one coworker who acts I was part of the LGBT community. <laughs> um, because I didn't have no girlfriend or whatever. Um, he was like, I hate this job. I can't stand this job. And it's thanks to him who told me you better go up online and change this whole 401k plan. If you don't plan here staying here alone, you better log up in there and decrease that number from 6% now. I, oh, okay. The next thing you know, I downloaded the app, I figured it out, and I made that from 6% to 0%. I, I might make it 1% because I needed to plan for the future, at least put some money in my retirement plan, 401k or whatever. I don't know how this 401k retirement plan pension stuff work i don't know how that works or whatever as far as i'm concerned every job i think every job you work a little bit about your paycheck goes into you know money in your future which is like basically a future savings account which i don't mind that so i might change it from zero to one percent okay so yeah the point the main reason i made it zero percent because i need all of the money i make here why because these bills i gotta pay these bills okay but honestly i might just stop and put the and put the um, um the stress right back onto the original person who was supposed to be paying this. I'm just doing a favor. I'm just being an old. I'm just being a big brother. That's all I'm saying. But uh, I think a bigger, bigger, bro a bigger brother would teach the, the you know the younger brother that you need to do this instead. I can't keep doing this to teach him what I should be doing. I'm already I already made a whole video about saying I wish I was a better older brother. But, you know, we're, we're adults now, so there's that. We're both grown men now, so, you know, when men, men are eagles, when we, when men, when our eagles clash together, they usually, ain't, you know, they don't really work out. All right, that's pretty much it. I am working on working, having a second job. I need more money. I can't, like I said, I need a second job. This economy is crazy. And honestly, even though I voted for Donald Trump, I feel like my whole money financial situation is not going to change, okay? Let's make that, let's get that clear. I don't already you know a whole lot of you hate me for, for voting for Donald Trump or whatever. I'm not going to get too much in politics, but in the end of the day, it doesn't matter what vote I do. I'm still poor. I'm still going to have financial problems. If I have, if I have better financial problems, better if I have more money in my pocket because Trump is office, thank you. But at the end of the day, corporations or whatever. And then don't forget Project 2025. So, I, yeah, I'm not fully on Spirit Airlines. That's cool. Spirit Airlines plane. Um, yeah, you know, I, like, like I said, you know, I, I don't want I don't want to talk about politics. It's all clear today. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I need a new job. Um, I, I am applying. I need to apply some more. And just crazy, all these companies, they want to be cheap or whatever. They want to be cheap and um, 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 upscale, mark up whatever their prices or whatever, inflate their prices or whatever. The middle class is being, you know, gone or whatever. It's just going to be poor and rich. That's it. And then don't get me started with dating. I'm making the next video about dating. So, yeah, otherwise, that's pretty much it. The rent is due. Um, I don't, I don't have money. I don't feel like owing people money, no matter what the circumstances is. I'm just going to have to work, find another job, and whatever. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I, I like working, people. I'm not, I'm not that lazy. I like working, but I hate working. I hate working if I'm not promised or 
well, promised or guaranteed um, a better living or a comfortable living. All right, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.